stay alone in lane, so the SD can join the, the fights on the mid lane. But the Tidehunter against Jug doesn't seem that good. Yeah. Doesn't really seem too fortuitous for the Tide. And uh, later in the game, neither, because there's a Timber Saw on the opposing... Like, this is such a free Timber Saw game for Miracle. What do they really have? Like, realistically, what do they have to counter him? The Timber against the Timber. You see? Yeah. There's a Morphling. You just morph. <laughs> I don't think the Morphling. Uh, <laughs> it's two really good heroes, the Magnus and the Timber. He can morph into the Timber, yes, but that's after 30, 35 ish minutes. That's a lot. Things that Bad yeah. Boon could do is. Uh, play the Roche fights well. They have Techies. Techies is really good for the Roche fights. You can control the gates. You put the mines before the enemy team joins. You can do a lot of damage. You can play on buybacks. I believe Bad Boon they need to outplay. Oh, Miracle is getting harassed already. Oh no, the damage. But yeah, he should have a pretty okay lane. Three bounties are secured for Shopify at the start. And uh, not a yeah. bad way to start the game. Batrider position five. Something about that makes me feel icky. So the hero is just too strong of a laner. You throw the flame break and a grenade and you just run it down. And when you have fireflies, secure the kill. Well, they're going to they go, go in on pure, pure already. Doesn't have uh, any magic wand charges really to work with. And uh, yeah, that's why the... Uh, Juggernaut insta pick came out against the tide. Yeah, and he no did regen. a choice of going tangos, but Jug is a hero that takes 90% of your HP, so usually you want to buy salves against him. Yeah, he's just going to need to use Gush the entire time to make it work. Yeah, Pushback comes out, Pure is going to be first blooded. And Artura gets himself first blood secured on the Juggernaut. At the very least, it doesn't cost him tangos. So he'll get the TP back to lane. And the lane is being pushed out. So, I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, they don't have the pool on Shopify. That's something. They go for a TZ, but they don't have the level 2 yet. So, but harsh. Yeah, Artur will be able to just uh, easily heal up in the process towards mid. A different thing to watch to, uh, right now. GPK versus Miracle, Pango versus Timbersaw. And it's looking so far pretty decent for Miracle. Yeah, the Timber eventually is going to be able to deny creeps from the Pangolier because he gets uh, a lot of right click damage by the Universal. Also, when he gets levels, maybe even level 5, he can already dive the Pangolier. Try to double wave him. Well, bottles should definitely help in uh, being able to keep the sustain go in bottom lane. It's going to be uh, the Morphling plus Shadow Demon versus a Lion Magnus combo. You always have to be a little bit careful, of course, as the Shadow Demon if you get dragged back with a nice skewer. Yeah, no, I don't the way think Morphling has that lane, problem. It's really free for the mag. Crit? Uh, I'd say he might die, but not really. Shadow Demon doesn't have mana. So they're sharing XP on Bad Boon side. On Shopify, it's full XP for the mag. The mag's gonna be huge. Well, there is no mana pretty much left on the jug. He does have a magic wand with 10 charges. Save is trying to quickly get the Lotus and should be able to secure it. Artesi is slightly struggling more than I would have anticipated. Yeah, because the tech is instantly killed his healing ward. His attack range on, on tech is so broken. 700. And uh, it is also a universal hero, so if he gets that, you know, 22, uh, level 25 talent of plus 252 damage, build in some agi items, you can have a lot of fun. Okay, that's some cope. <laughs> hey, 25. that talent is there for a reason, I believe. Universal heroes all day, every day. Yeah, the three lanes are going well for Shopify. Just like, yeah, well, all the cores are actually farming. Oh, so it's 
even. Oh, the cliff play. Toronto Tokyo has to TP out. I wonder if he can disruption and one of the copies will change place like a Manta. No, because you stand on that position where you get disrupted. Let's see. Sableye does take a significant amount of damage. Has Toronto nice Tokyo stick. stunned up. Sableye skewers him back. Toronto needs help, but he is going to get taken out. However, in response, Crit will die to Toronto Tokyo. So one for one trade is all not too shabby. Yeah, fair trade. Let's see. Shopify gets the kill first, so they get more XP. They get the XP into heroes. Not a huge of a deal, to be honest. Pretty even trade. Yeah, Miracle is level 5. It's painful for the Pangolier from now on. Yeah, especially once level 6 even comes in and you get Shakum. Then it's Chop Chop dead. Yeah, he has to farm with the spells, which means he has no mana. He has to go back to base to refill. But he'll be in time to fight for the 6 minute room, so it's fine. Top side again, RTZ with the, the healing ward, tries to paint and save very deep, somehow Nightfall dies bottom lane, the spin comes out to actually fly, now went a little bit too deep, and will be taken break. down uh. by Pure, who is now second, I'm just quickly checking out the net worth, he's second, tied for second, okay, he just got overtaken on the tide, but considering that was his terrible start, he's not having a very bad lane. Yeah. Those kills really matter a lot, so getting the Batrider kills is really meaningful. He doesn't... He's not buying so much regen, so also having more net worth. They got the Lotus uh, with the Techies, few small things, has the ring up. They're going for the next Lotus. Ooh, Grint gets the stun off. Oh. And the spin from RTZ, who is pretty low. Pure nice is gonna blocks. be just fine. And with Okay, TP got cancelled there by the Shadow Demon. Toronto Tokyo didn't go topside, but Fly could come in from behind. That is a scary prospect. He does have that flame break, but with the Juggernaut not having any mana or tools at his disposal, it's a bit too risky. They are pinging out that there are some uh, XP runes coming in soon. And Fly and Crit are together trying to steal the XP rune of bat boom. Yeah, our TZ is joining. And the Pangolier oh. cannot TP because there's a team bear following him. And Toronto Tokyo is just going to steal the enemy, so it doesn't really matter yeah. that much. <laughs> All God, the supports this is really to steal aggressive. the enemy one and you forget about yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they Congratulations. scan it, so they know what's happening. Okay, that was a lot of effort put into that grab. Yeah, but it's a catapult wave that is hitting the enemy tower. So that's oh, really good coming. for Shopify. Miracle is coming in from behind. Pure needs to be careful. Because the tip tide is not really that strong against the timber saw. He knows that he needs to slow him down. But the kill should be secured and Pure... Nowhere he can run. Except Some into space. oblivion. Survived a little more than expected. Oh, GPK is stealing Bengalier some stacks. Trying... Yeah. Trying to play the enemy area, knowing that the Timber is on his map. Nice triple stack of neutrals being picked up. That's a good chunk of change. Drawn to Tokyo with the Shadow Poison spam. Rolling Thunder comes out, going for Saber Light. Runs out of a position a little bit and immediately gets smacked down. Pretty big kill with a pretty nice steal. GPK making moves on the Pango, trying to recover, of course, the deficit that he has compared to Miracle. Yeah, that's what you need to do as a Pangolier. The only downside is the Pora Prune stays with uh, Shopify. Miracle has a haste. He's running into GPK right now. And they get the kill, GPK slowed down, has another shield crash in a second, but the last right click from Crit, no uphill miss. Coming through, haste used by Miracle, going for Toronto, Tokyo, he's got more than enough mana to spare. And Miracle Timbersaw is unleashed, ready to go. Yeah.
that's the, the thing with the trade. You get a kill with a Bangalier, use your roll, but you give away the rune, and I'd say that's the best rune for a Team Bersol. The haste. You don't have any stuns, but you just run, run, run at them, and they cannot kill you. More stacks coming for Shopify. Wonder if Mag's gonna farm it or gonna leave it for Jug. Well, he is going for the Battle of Fury on Jug. So you're gonna have a cleave on cleave. Oh yeah, it's gonna be picked up by Miracle. He knows if he gets uh, decently farmed, he can just snowball this game into victory. Yeah, I'm like, who's gonna get it? Is it the Jug or the Mag? And I'm nah, completely it's wrong Miracle. Twice. Never doubt. You got two heavy farming <laughs> core players on your team. He ain't gonna share anything. It's a smoke. Lion TPs in with the smoke. Maybe he gets a hex into the Morphling, can be an insta kill. Rune's about to spawn. Where's it gonna be? There's the lasso available on the bat. And they're trying to kill off Miracle. Nice stun comes out. Good lockdown with the roll. GPK, Swashbuckle comes in as well. They get the kill secured. Looking for Fly next. There's a Meteor Hammer built up on the Tide. It's a while since I've seen that item. But it is going to result in a double kill for Bet Boom. And a huge Rolling Thunder play coming out from GPK. They will lose Nightfall in response in the bottom lane. Finger of Death used, used first charge for crit. He's very close to his Blink yeah. Dagger on the line as well. I was watching the Lion because they smoked and he decided to TP bottom and try to kill Morph and he wastes a lot of time to get this kill. I think the best decision would be to fight this mid rune together with Miracle because now GPK is back into the game. He, he gets the he wins the rune fight, has the shield rune, gets the kill, gets the tower. They timed really that fight good so trade for bad rune. That roll, like there was nothing Miracle could do. Yeah, and the Meteor Hammer with the slows as a setup. Meteor Hammer. Gaming. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, at least it's not as bad as last patch anymore. Where you got 50, uh, everyone building Meteor Hammers. That's right, has like Lasso. Guide. They have Vision or Morphling. Up here, trying to use that Meteor Hammer to get a little bit of tower push in. GPK is also top, needs to get the Diffusal Blade ASAP, because that really does activate the hero. And bottom, the drag onto save. Dead. He is going to get a lot of damage, at least, in on his opponents. But without any rotations, nothing uh, good will come of that push out. Yeah. Shopify had wards, they were trying to set up for the Morphling kill. The Morphling feels something's wrong, goes back, farm the safe route, but then the tech is TPs to collect the the farm. Which is fair to be honest, not a huge death from the tech side. Well, uh, currently crit is 200 gold away from blink. And a line with a blink is a very scary prospect, especially the change line where Earth Spike has a really fast cast animation, projectile speed. Yeah, it has changed the arrow significantly. This Morphling is really scared till he gets the Lincolns. Smoke coming from Batmoon. Well, they know what's coming in their direction and then trying to hamper it. Saberlight is uh, close to finishing up his harpoon. They're pinging He's, him. Uh, 250 gold away. Toronto, Tokyo He's gets the spot. Work. Demonic Purge. Yeah, and with the Rolling Thunder, Sableye drops the RP. Really? Yeah, I don't know, just stop the roll. <laughs> He's gonna be back in 30 seconds, and the cooldown is two minutes. Yeah, a little so bit longer. He's gonna wait uh, one and a half minutes because he decided to use. Uh, he's gonna farm the Harpoon anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But experience runes are gonna be up in 40 seconds. So it is definitely something that uh, Bat Boom, if they take the tier 1 tower bottom, they can also immediately try to steal away that XP room. Yeah, but Fly is looking for the same thing. <laughs> He's already setting up in this area. And probably Magnus is going to be able to protect his. So it, 
really look like two XP runes for Shopify, which is huge. Last bad boom TP right now. No, they're not. They're going for Arteezy. No, just from the wave. Well, that is XP rune number one. Fly going for the TP out. Omni slash thrown out onto save. Gets taken down. Spin TP. Jug is out. They get a kill. They get two wisdom runes. And they get away with murder there on the side of Shopify. Yeah, it's this is really huge. The XP means a lot. The supports on Bad Boom are really, really sad now. Deck is still level 6. If you compare still it to a level 9, nine lion. lion. Yeah. Yeah, Two that's, a, that's a big struggle. Guy. Kaya, ready? How far they're playing the... as well. Fly is farming the Radiance jungle. Like right next to them. He's under ward vision as well. <laughs> yeah, and they have no jump. They have Meteor Hammer with Tidehunter. He's getting the dagger in the crew here right now, which is going to open some possibilities for his team. Sableye's got the Harpoon as well, so they, they, they have Blinks and Harpoon on the side of uh, Shopify. And the Radiant side has the Blink of the Tide. How far is Pango? Is he going for it? No, he's going for the Aghanim Scepter on GPK. Which also makes a lot of sense, because value, Rolling Thunder. But they are slightly getting out-farmed by yeah. Shopify. They're chasing a bat rider. They have three, four heroes. It's the Dagger Reveal on the Tide Hunter. They don't need to use any huge spells. That's the, the good side. But usually it's not what you want with the Blink Dagger Reveal. They are pinging the Jug. Tide Hunter is wrapping around. This can be huge if they find the Jug, but Lion and Timber are trying to find them beforehand. Oh, catch on to GPK. Finger comes out, GPK. He's gonna get chopped up. Miracle's damage is too much. He's got that Kaya for the extra spell amp. And it does uh, <laughs> deal with his opponent very quickly. Yeah, and they had three heroes grouping up from behind to get the Jug, but the Jug got you first. So it's a four yeah. hero move and they die. Jug still has ultimate up. They also don't really have a way of interrupting a, a spin TP on the side of Bat Boom, which is one of the big problems. Even if you get on top of the Jug, how are you going to control him? Yeah, they need to burst him with the Ravage Row, let's say. They still can do it. But they need the, uh, the vision advantage. They go for oh, Saber Light. Light. Ravage comes out. Meteor Hammer lands as well. Holds him in position so the RP ends. And Saber Light will be taken down. Tries to get himself to jump out of there, but they will find the kill. RP for a Ravage trade is definitely not the worst trade in the world. Are they going to go Roche? They insta ping Roche. Yes. That, that, doesn't that take a long time? Not really. Jug has a lot of damage. Also, if you're dire, you definitely want to do the Roche around 17, 18 minutes because the respawn time is from 8 to 11. So that means if they do the Roche right now, the second Roche is 100% a dire Roche. So they can play with buybacks, the second Roche fight. That's really huge. Especially playing against the techies that can uh, put mines in the pit. It's, it's really huge that they do before 18, 19 minute mark. Oh, they do manage to take down Roche and get that first Aegis of the game for some good timings indeed. They get all those nice little watchers giving the vision where need be. They're still playing very aggressively though on the side of uh, Bat Boom. Yeah, they know that Shopify has the other side of the map. So they're basically avoiding Shopify by playing their triangle. No, Nightfall is uh, nowhere near his team. Is going for the Ags. In this game, if you get the Ags, what hero do you want to turn into? Magnus. Magnus for the stats. I can see it's no, it's case for tool, Timber. Toolkit's also pretty decent, I think. Yep. So Pyr is slowly taking the top tower. Uh, sorry, the bottom tower with the Meteor Hammer. It's a tier 2 trade. At least the meter hammer paying off for that slow siege. 
Yeah, Midwave gets cut by both sides as well. They're really just playing dodge Dota. Yeah, Artis is gonna hit the tier 3. At least force some TPs back. Shadow Demon ready there. Just the Shadow Demon. Spin to win. Gets himself out of there. They TP back to defend their own Pure base TP's as well. Out. Fly. Won't be able to get the catch on to Pure and Nightfall. We'll just uh, slither on out of there. There's not really too much happening this game. It's mainly just try and outfarm the, your opponents. Miracle is building up the Octarine. It's not going to take long because the Vanguard can, of course, be broken into pieces. He just needs uh, a little bit more. Wait. Did he just... Why did he buy the Perseverance? Okay. <laughs> he bought the Perseverance where Radiance he could break the Vanguard to get the Perseverance. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh, yeah. going in on to pure right. top side, but the rest of the team is not nearby. There's a Ravage available as well. Gets a two-man Ravage. A big mistake. In comes the stun upon stun. The great lockdown comes out. Very weird skewer from a disruption, but it's going to be a double kill regardless. Interesting choice to start a fight there when Miracle is on the other side of the map. And he He's is primarily your damage. Management. He was, was doing the inventory management to talk about dismounting all items, getting the Octarine up. I felt, felt like they got a Tide, but it was not really the target they wanted, so they didn't throw spells. It's like, oh, we got a Tide. Uh, he doesn't die. And then you don't press the spells you want to press, and it gives all the advantage to the enemy team. You had the initiation, but not on the target you wanted. Ah, Arteezy went for Diffusal Blade. After his battle for Yashi, he has very little stats to stay alive. Still has that age, of course, which definitely helps. Going for the uh, SNY, which is not an item you see too often anymore. Though I do like the Diffusal because it can upgrade into that Disperser, and Disperser is very nutty. Yeah, also, it's approach that usually you do when you have Magnus in your team, that you go for primary attribute. So instead of going for the damage, you go for the stats. So agility that's gonna give you damage, because in power is gonna work on the agility. Oh, well, they did find themselves a, a little kill onto the good old classic bomber man. Not really much happening. 3k net worth advantage. It hasn't shifted up that much. And Arteezy is going to go instead for the Lincolns as his next item. A lot of Lincolnses in this patch. Here's going like for the, the Scythe of Vice, actually. I really like that choice. I like the approach they're doing the map. They know the mid wave is going to hit, so they smoke on bottom because they know a hero is going to show. I follow a big me, catch. RP instantly. Do they have the lockdown? Finger gets thrown out. He does get taken down. Double kill comes out. The more Omni Slash continued as well, and they'll find a third target. Right before the age expires as well, they managed to find a huge couple of kills. Mid lane, they can probably go for the tier 2 tower to boot, and RTZ comes in a clutch. That's a move that the Morphling did not expect. If only the had way Shark they play there. the map <laughs> is so great on Shopify. I'm tired of losing for it, but it's great. They push the mid wave, they know a hero has to defend it. They plant the smoke on the bot lane. They see tide, they completely ignore tide, because they know there's gonna be another hero dealing with mid. Gets three kills, and now they're going high ground. Oh, Skewer drag back. back on to save. Gets taken out, they all get disarmed in the meantime, but Morphling joined a little bit too late, so they couldn't make a counter play just yet. And they'll back off. Tier 3 secured, tier 2 secured, a couple of added kills. Now that 3k net with advantage all of a sudden spikes up to 9. Yeah, and in the farm trade game, Shopify is always going to win. So if the game keeps still, they keep farming with Empower, farm faster. Bad Boom knows that they go for a smoke, which soon is going to be obvious because they're not showing in any lanes. Timber is already tipping out back to base, getting some mana, buying the BOT. We'll be able to join fights. Jug. Oh, Ravage onto Jug. Do they have a lockdown? Yes, they do. GPK takes him down, and that's a big kill. Dead for 50. Not the longest death timer, though. 
Could try and steal the tormentor away. Uh, speaking yep. of stealing that save, that's going to steal a kill onto fly to boot. Nice little solo kill added in. And two quick kills there for Bet Boom. So they still have something to work with. Nightfall, they're pinging out that they want to steal the Tormentor. Yeah, let's see. You told the uh, Morphling solo kill. Okay. Well, he but is the healing ward is not gaming. fair. Yeah, not no, fair. no, no. No, no, no. It's just the Morphling. No, oh, the uh, Morphling oh. doesn't solo kill it. It was a discussion of the last game. It does not. With the healing ward and the tide. Yeah, so they they get a shard for the SD. That's uh, meaningful. They need That's one for the techies, actually. They should get their own tormentor. Techie shard is well, it says old ags, so that tells you enough how broken it is. You just pop it, it on the tide and uh, say, "Tide, go, you do stuff." Extremely good. The yeah, Artizi had this greedy farming death, but he has Kadi now. He's super strong. As long as he doesn't get bursted as he was, they should win the fights. Well, uh, currently Shopify are nearby, so they might try and uh, contest for this Tormentor. Which is scary, because is really good at contesting for Tormentor. A little bit of AoE damage and you are in oblivion. Yeah, Halbert, also Magnus. There they're getting a lot of items on the Shopify side. I wonder if Magnus goes for that blind fish. Nah, they want to play safe. He did try previously when they took the tier 3 tower in mid. He jumped on the high ground and was like, ah, if someone shows. Yeah, and now it's too crazy. They want to keep control of this top area because as mentioned, it's 100% sure a dire Roche. So in 40 seconds, Roche is going to be up. They create a wall between them and the Roche. And Bad Bull needs to go through all of that. They don't have any TP spots nearby. Oh, well, this is getting uh, interesting Lion has a gem, curious. clean the area, getting the Watcher. Might go oh, for the Tormentor. Mm, uh, that gives dangerous. away that they're right behind it. <laughs> Toronto took your soaks up some damage from the Tormentor. They see some lightning bolts and RTZ knows, okay, maybe I shouldn't try it. Batrider scouts Roche, she doesn't see it, but it's gonna respawn right now. Miracle, oh, the other side gonna of the map. Down the tormentor before it gets joined. Techies gets a free oh, shard. shard. Nice. Otherwise, it would have gone to pure. Tendrils of the Deep, Invis. also not bad. Actually, no, it might have gone to the Morphling because he's technically the second lowest net worth. Yeah. That would be kind of interesting to see. That shard of, on him would have actually saved him a couple of times. But, you know, he's a, he, he's a Morphling. He doesn't want to buy his shard. He can get it for free. <laughs> he's a core. He doesn't want to buy tier 3 tokens. No, they know Roche one is up. Of them. He shows in the map and he goes directly to Roche. So it's a Roche fight where the entire team has buyback besides the Magnus. On the enemy team, Morphling and Tidehunter doesn't have. So they should execute this fight with buyback, so you'd assume. Oh, they might they not break expect this. Oh, uh, they do expect. Buys yeah, there. now they do. Save with the jump in into Roche. Keep RTZ occupied. Rolling Thunder comes out from GPK just in time. RP was used with the Ravage as a response. Looking to take down the Bat right on the side. RTZ is actually at half HP. Dropping pretty low. Needs to get away. The Illusions are taking him down. He gets blasted by Nightfall. Charging for more. The big fat R Magnus chasing for more. Crit needs to get out of dodge. He's going to get smacked by pure Nightfall with a triple kill. Juggernaut just died by his own illusions because they hit hard <laughs> from the shadow yeah demon. and he was slowed he didn't get to press the ultimate he had buyback but he bought the sunge during the fight so yeah he didn't play with the buyback i assumed he would use it the rp was on two targets but then there was no follow-up from their side the follow-up was a ravage Freedom on point, they spell casting on Bat Boom. On the Shopify side, they didn't really cast their spells. 
Lion still has his ultimate up. Jug also It was also does. a little bit unfortunate, because in the Roche pit, uh, the Jug, Arteezy, he got bashed by Roche right before Techies flew in to jump. So if he wasn't bashed by Roche, he could have spun and killed the Techies the moment he lands. So it was like a very unfortunate moment where Roche is like, Dunk! Yeah, look, he was stunned <laughs> right before that lash came in. Yeah, and then you're he gets playing with the RNG. And then he gets hit by the Ravage. And then, yeah, he gets demonic purge. <laughs> like, Arteezy couldn't move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chuck did not the other team fight. He just died. Very well executed by Bad Boom to make this happen. That was a very sad death. Yeah. Bat Rider was cutting waves. Three heroes from Bad Boon looking for him. They do the the war. They have the jam. It's also something they got out of that team fight on the Roche. Well, more flame going yeah, for like the butterfly next. Shopify team fight. They need to start with the harpoon skewer. The five against five seems really hard to be fought. Yeah, Ravages have been really on point from Pure this game. He also has the Scythe now done. Building into the Shiva's Refresher next, so you're gonna get the double Ravage plays coming soon. Needs the Shiva's because otherwise his mana pool is too terrible to get two Ravages off. Oh, Miracle stealing the XP rune and... They know he did! <laughs> He's level 19. Top of he has the a blink, court. but Toronto Tokyo has a catch. And they have a lot of new damage. I mean, Morphling turning into Timber Saw is also a kind of a nice one. You can get that uh, stats reduced with the yeah first spell. Bangalore with DD seems really strong. It is about to get level twenty. It's a huge. I don't know if calling power spike is right, but it's a huge timing for the hero. You want that lifesteal talent. It's really good. But is it going to be enough to turn this around? Morphling is uh, feeling indestructible. His courier dies with the eagle song. That's a, pl uh, a nice one. Because the butterfly is hard to deal with for the side yeah, so of the full Shopify. Aegis is without the butter. That's really good for the Shopify side. Fly. Cutting the creep wave, neatly done. Cut the creep wave, yeah. They're really playing dirty Dota right now. <laughs> look, look, Arteezy. <laughs> oh, he was trying to do the move where he used the gate from the fog, but then failed twice and decided, I'm getting out of this. Right now, they're on the run on Shopify side. They need the. Honestly, the best thing, of course, of action for them is Bet Boom walks up the high ground. And they get caught by a, a Sable Light Blink Skewer back. Yeah, we haven't seen it being used yet. To be fair, the Bat Boon draft is really good on that sense, because <laughs> you bring a Tide Hunter into you, not exactly what you want. Pangolier has so much escape. Probably the Pangolier is the hero you want, but then you need all spells on point to kill him before he can roll. He has, also has a shield rune. It's not going to be the easiest to kill, but Arteezy taking the twin gate down bottom. They know that he was in the area because of the Observer Ward. Fly's still there. But they're going to take the gateway because they want to catch Arteezy. Will they be able to hit it though? No, Arteezy. He's a sneaky yeah, little devil. They ping like, oh, he's going to farm this camp and he didn't go for it. He's careful after that first death. And he's still uh, out farming Nightfall the entire time while dodging all the chases. And they're all trying to bait this in on the side of Bet Boom, but they're not coming. They're trying to bait you in on the opposing side. Yeah, it seems Actually, like a smoke's coming. They, they might be waiting for um, the Tormentor to come up on their side because it died at, I think, 24 minutes. So if they get the Tormentor, Lion has a pretty nice one. Batrider is kind of terrible. Don't joke. 
they're just not doing anything on BetBoom for a foreseeably long time. <laughs> Look at both these sides, just AFK yeah. waiting for the enemy team to make a move and nothing is happening. <laughs> And both of them are like, oh, clearly they are smoked, because look at the waves, they're not showing. And the enemy team is just saying the same thing. Guys, they're not showing. Let's keep here. Yeah, let's keep here. Well, now they are going to smoke, but this is problematic because they just TP'd out the tide. Not too far, actually. He TP'd out a tiny amount. The thing is, the techies bombs are going to spot it right now. Yep. Yeah. The power of good old tech tech. Nuke the entire map, and they'll never be able to hide. It's a really good usage of the techies. Morphling has the butterfly. Got to cool her back. Javionat doesn't really want to build MKB. I mean, it's not the worst. He does have Ags now as well, but <clears throat> a right-click fight against the Morphling is pretty rough. Yeah, he's relying a lot, let's say, on the Lion to burst the Morphling, or that the Morphling is the last thing to stay on the team fight, and then he trades with the Healing Ward. But 101 is definitely hard for him. Dodging weave, dodging weave. Forced. It's pretty meaningful because it's like this muscle memory fortify, where you fortify a tier 2, but you already lost one. So if you lose the tier 2, there's no 45 for the tier 3. Oh, they know that there's a high ground ward from They're Shopify. Baiting. Yeah, this is interesting. Butboom knows that there's a high ground ward from Shopify. They know from each other that there's a high ground ward. In comes the jump. Toronto, Tokyo dropping low. Is he getting healed up in the meantime? Does he finally get taken down? Yes, he does, but they lost Sableite in the process. And the Rolling Thunder from GPK still hasn't ended yet. Going for Miracle. Can he get the chase cash? GPK is hunting for blood. Miracle drops. Both the mid and off laner have been taken down. And Shopify need to get out of dodge again. Yeah, they're getting the gate back. Arteezy can't do anything on the jug. Like, he can't get any damage on them. He gets hit by if he spins, he gets hit by demonic purge. If he stands, he gets hit by disruption. Shadow Demon yeah. is destroying this juggernaut. You look at the damage dealt on the team fight, he dealt 557. And yeah, that's the a couple of seconds 3K. from the spin. <laughs> yeah, that's a couple of seconds from the spin. He didn't even use the swift slash. Oh, crit. Get spotted out, save with the sun, crit gets blown up, Roshan, luckily enough, almost full duration Rosh. Actually, that means it's going to go to the Radiant side, possibly. I mean, with no, a minute still dire. left. Yeah, That's dire the thing with, with the a minute left. One. The lasso. Oh, Omni slash. Oh, Swift Slash. Now it's going to be... No, that was actually the Omni Slash completely wasted. Oh my god, he needs to get out. It's going to get bashed up by GPK. Ravage gets blown. Two-man stun. GPK with the Rolling Thunder turns around. You cannot run. You cannot hide. RTZ is gone. And that is big. That Omni Slash was one of the most unfortunate ones I've seen in a while. Because it was hit, hit, gone. Yeah. And the chat will, the ha ha ha, well played, well played, well played. Knowing pro players like, guys, I'm done with this match. Can we go next? The lane started off so really nice, but one bad team fight. Nightfall is now very strong. Hard to kill as well, that's the big problem. Skewer back, Skewer. comes in, but is it going to be enough damage? <laughs> Nowhere near enough, especially not without the Jug Jug. Saber Light. He's going to try another skewer play. Pops the BKB. Drags back save. They might be able to at least get that kill. But they lose the top yeah. set of racks. A lot for a techie skill. Yeah, they don't have... They need, like, a godlike RP into a four-man or spike. Like, that's, that's yeah. the game plan at this point. Roche is up in one minute they have the tp spot on the outpost uh, if they can play with buybacks maybe that's a hope for them miracle does have it also the bat rider tp in coming from jug few mines are gonna spot 
the placement. Are they going around? Miracle in the front. Wrap around. They're all there. Glimmer gets used. They're falling back. Pure gets vision Shiva's. with the nice Shiva's guard usage. Actually, he's dragging them away from the rest of his team. And Pure will get finished off in the meantime. But this is pretty big because Rose is up in 15 seconds. And they're gonna it's bail out on Bedfoot. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the tide running on the other direction. Didn't feel he could win the team fight? They want all the team fights, and now he skips the fight. Maybe a miss blink. Oh, Toronto Tokyo, is he gonna go for the steal? He's behind the pit. It is a refresher shot. He he's, he's, he's waiting for the TP to come in. He doesn't oh. have a TP. YOLO. He's not crazy. He's not gonna try it. No, 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 it. YOLO. Ah, uh, wuss. Should've gone for it, Toronto. They weren't expecting it at all. But they do manage to get themselves a, a refresher shard, so... Double RP. Probably your best bet. Maybe the double Omni Slash yeah. could be a tool, but probably double RP. No, I'd say that the Aegis is really meaningful more than the refresher, because now Jug is not afraid to play the game. It feels like after First Blood, Arteezy is afraid to play the game. He sees the team fight, he's like looking, mm, can I press my ultimate? I cannot. Can I join the fight? I cannot. And then suddenly he's dead. So now he cannot be bursted, or he can once, so he's not so afraid of playing the game, I hope. But then the question is, can he play the game? Because the Demonic Purge, he has an Axe on Shadow I mean, Demon, so he has two charges. You come back they have after one the Ravage ages. so far. Tide is going for a Refresher, but they have one Ravage and one Roll. Toronto Tokyo I'd is assume, really farmed. Four or five. Yeah. I assume the second life is really meaningful. Demonic Purge twice. Demonic Cleanse twice. Neat little tools there. Miracle, he's going for the Scythe of Vice into an overwhelming blink. I would have expected a bit more impact considering his laning stage on the Timber Saw. But they've made, they've not been fighting at all, and that's not really Timber Saw's, you know, game plan. <laughs> they've just been trying to farm yeah. and dodge and farm and dodge. The hero tries on long team fights, but the team fights aren't being long. It's just uh, one hero gets burst and they run away. So maybe with skewer, get a target, use some spells, kite it back, use the healing ward, kite it back. Then we can see way more impact for the teamer. But the way the team fights have been played so far, there's not much he can do. Well, they're looking to knock on the high ground, bottom lane. They need to be a little bit careful, of course, top lane. They're, the creeps are getting pretty close towards their base. And that's exactly why Miracle is heading in that direction to cut the creeps out. High ground pushing is still right. They have really terrible high ground on the side of Shopify. It's Jug. That's it. That's a high ground push. He has to right click. I mean, if, if they take one hero down, they can go fishing with the Magnus. Because then he's... Oh, oh then they're then fishing the tide. the tide Hunter back, which is not probably the best choice in that situation. Does have the Ravage still available. Fly pops his BKB. Rolling Thunder doesn't really do anything. Sableye gets the skewer back. But Fly might not be so lucky. And actually, Sableye's going to get caught by GPK as well. Double kill for the Radiant side. And Betboom can immediately try and run it down mid. Or so they think. Because Arteezy knows that he's going to need to make a little bit of a... A push back to force someone back towards their base. But yeah, again, I can't tide. even call a team fight. Oh, they see Miracle. They cancel. Oh, the Timber Saw. Do they have the damage to take him down? He has Probably. BKB, then has TP in 15 because has Octarine BOT. Oh, they are pretty fast in chasing. And he is running out of mana. Does oh, have the no cheese mana. swapping the it cheese. in. Cheese eats the Gouda. Still has a BKB at the ready. Is delaying it quite significantly, but there's no backup coming in. Miracle, yeah. BKB, TP. Oops, no but gets bashed up by GPK. The bash. And TP interrupted. Miracle still being hunted down. Gets disrupted. In the meantime, he's distracting them for such a long time. 
But eventually, they manage to take him out the moment that Nightfall finally joins his teammates. Yeah, really nice catch to cancel his TP first, then the lucky catch, uh, cancelling with the BKB. I'd say that basically answers the question that you made for me, like, why is he not having impact on teamfight? First, they try to go for a teamfight, and it's not a teamfight. They get a Tidehunter, and they kind of regret, oh, guys, sorry, I took the Tidehunter, and they try to run. So they just feed two kills to Batpoon, and then they go for the Timber, and you see the Timber can actually tank so much damage. He created, like, one minute of space. So he wants a fight the last one minute. The thing is how they get this fight. Yeah, 15 you, seconds on ages. It's definitely not dragging a Tide Hunter in the, your entire lineup. That's not going to help you. Nightfall, almost level 25. Pure, same story, almost level 25. And going for the push here. Turns into uh, the Magnus to steal a ungodly amount of stats. He gained 40%. 59 strength, 34 Agi, and 31 Int from turning into the Magnus. From yeah, with the power, he's him. hitting 550. Magnus is at 2k HP right now. That's All how much he sold. That was Swift Slash. And only one set of racks still left. They still have the refresher, so double RP is a threat. But now there's no RTZ ages anymore. So, yeah. How's he gonna get on? He needs a harpoon actually so that he can get on top of people when he gets purged. I think you can still leap then. I don't know. That interaction with harpoon and like nullifier effects on you. Yeah, not exactly sure the interaction device. Sure, being a bit of a nuisance, jumping in, the catch on to fly blows him up, he gets taken down, Pure doesn't really give a damn, dropped his Ravage, and Miracle now needs to be a little bit careful because the damage coming out from the Morphling Nightfall hits like a truck, and the Lotus Orb, oh, Omni Slash Spell Lotus. Reflect, oh no, the Hex onto the Jug immediately, and RTZ gets saved for a second, but not long enough, no buyback available on RTZ. And that is going to be the GG called Bet Boom. Take game number one from Shopify Rebellion. And they do it in quite a su sublime fashion. Bet Boom is looking really strong. Pure on that offlane tide looked impeccable. Every yeah, Ravagey really place well pretty much from was Boom. great.